Greetings and welcome on down to whatever the scum this is that you and I do here. This video will upset PvP supporters, but these words I'm about to say need to be said. It is unfortunate that it has to be said by a cartoon, but this is strategic because they cannot crummy wing a cartoon. Pip the intro quick and let me chew this bone. Hey, something ever surprise you like when you see Jagala what? Before we get started, give me a like the pony like button. And if you're a PvP supporter, but you also like most of my content, it is better to rake your scunt away from this particular episode. For all you other free-thinking Guyanese who are not beneficiaries of the proverbial soup, listen up carefully. As we approach the local government elections, it is imperative that we recognize the pressing issues plaguing Guyana. Our current government, already in executive control, is exploiting taxpayers' funds to further their own political agenda, while the opposition remains divided and weak like a skunt. This has resulted in the neglect of the needs of the common people, leading to dire consequences like poverty, hunger, and underdevelopment of many communities. We must come together and break free from this cycle of scuts. Here are some of the problems I have with these people who are in power. And I say people in power, not leaders. Because leaders lead. Those in power believe that they are a superior breed than the people who gave them that power with votes. Anyways, number one, misuse of public funds. It is disheartening to witness the blatant misuse of public funds by the PPP to finance their political campaigns. Taxpayers' hard-earned money and oil money are being squandered to propagate their party agenda while they ignore the cries of the common man. The billboard scheme is just one of the unethical practices. When you ask Jack Dio who are the party donors, he says their identity must be kept secret. But I know their identities. It is us mother scunt. We are the donors that are paying for the PVP's elaborate campaigns with our tax dollars. And no one is holding them accountable to ensure that public funds are not being used to buy votes. Number two, lack of opportunities and patronage. We will make sure, I said to people who joined us, we don't only look out for the country, we look out for our people. And we believe that all of you have an opportunity to make progress. The government's preferential treatment towards their party supporters in terms of opportunities and benefits is a clear violation of democratic principles. This unjust practice perpetuates a system where only the privileged few thrive, while the majority of us struggle to make ends meet. And they do it blatantly. Look the bio this buy from Suze Dyke that named Iswatabiti. As soon as he sold his soul, he got contracts and became a big buy in Suze Dyke with firearm and all kinds of scunts. He threw little scraps and gave the youths them in the area and formed an army of PvP thugs. Now anyone who rejects the PvP is attacked. I will tell you more about Mr. Iswata BT in a subsequent video. Let's move on to number 3. Neglect of basic needs. Guyana's most vulnerable citizens are suffering from dire neglect under the current regime. People are literally dying on the streets due to hunger and extreme poverty. Look the other day, someone died of hunger on the pavement in Georgetown. Another man hung himself on the overpass at Houston a few days ago. So many people are living on the streets. This is becoming a humanitarian crisis. Finally, number 4. The inequitable distribution of our oil revenues. Guyana's newfound oil industry holds immense potential to uplift this entire nation. But unfortunately, the benefits of this industry are not reaching many sectors of our society. The rich are getting richer, and the gap between the haves and have-nots is widening. Comment below and tell me how much of the oil money passed through your hands this year. For me, it was zero thousand. Guyanese, it is our responsibility to stand up against the injustices and inequality that is plaguing Sconville. We cannot afford to let political self-interest and neglect of the common people continue. I've been watching this system at work for a long time and it needs to change. I'm supporting a group of bright young people who have formed a political movement and they are contesting in the local government elections. By voting for this movement in the upcoming LGE, they can officially voice our discontent and demand a fair and just society for all of us. Let us support them. Elect young leaders who are committed to the welfare of the people. Prioritize the basic needs of the disadvantaged and ensure that the wealth of our nation benefits everyone. Together we all can make this change happen. I'm doing my part by delivering this message. It is up to you to go to the polls and give these young people a chance. Don't say in one you scunt. Go out and vote for the movement. N.E. Ways. Boom out. Hold up.